Time for a recent reads. Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got a recent reads for you. So, uh, this is the first video since I have uh, started feeling better. So, as you could probably tell by my voice, I feel a little better. Still have a couple of nose things, but it's whatever. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the three books I've read most recently. Um, we'll have them linked down below if any of them intrigue you, because um, there are there is one rather intriguing book, to say the least, which I'm still even to this moment thinking about my star rating for it. So I'm going to save that one for last. So exciting times. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the three books. All right, first book is The Grand Hotel by Scott Kenimore. So this book is basically about a, uh, a hotel uh, that's grand, um, but it's, so this group of people come in and this uh, desk clerk kind of seems a little odd and off. Uh, he welcomes these people in late at night and he wants to give them a tour of the hotel, which is pretty much the entirety of the book. Uh, pretty much what transpires is he brings them room to room, showing them all these different characters, and pretty much the plot is each character's got their own, like, backstory, and they tell the story, and it's usually, like, a haunting kind of story, or, like, it's kind of weird, or it's off a little bit. Um, and there's this one mysterious little girl that doesn't belong to anybody. It's not, like, a family member or anything, and... I think after the second story, the uh, the clerk goes up to her and says, I think, like, it, after each story, he, like, asks her a question. If she gets it right, if she gets it right, then they continue with the tour, or if she gets it wrong, then they stop the tour. Um, ending was... Ending was all right. I got a little confused with it, just in terms of, like, how a certain thing, like, gets passed on. Um, but... I'm not 100% sure if that's really what the meaning was supposed to be. Um, I, don't, I just kind of felt confusing to me. Um, if you've read this book, uh, DM me and, you know, maybe if you understand it better than I do, let me know just because I don't want to say too much in this video with, this, with a spoiler. Um, but DM me with the ending because I'm a little confused, I would say. Like, I have a guess, but I don't want to ruin it in the video here so but overall I would say it's a four star book um, I think four and a half maybe is what I ended up giving it um, but it wasn't that bad I thought it was pretty exciting and each story was pretty interesting so one, a couple of them went on a little too long I think so but there you have The Grand Hotel by Scott Kenimore alright next up is a recent release uh, and that is this is actually the first book I read in June, and that is Hide by Kirsten White. So this book cover looks really cool. So did the Grand Hotel, um, and so does this next one. But um, but yeah, so this is a recent release. I did not know a whole lot going into it uh, except for the fact that it was a like an amusement park, people playing hide and seek. That was pretty much all I knew. I read it, we're following main, like, it splits off into different characters, but the main person we're following is this girl named Mackenzie, who was part of a major tragedy in her life, um, where, uh, her dad pretty much went nuts, murdered the family, except for her, because she hid, and he couldn't find her, um, and so that's, like, the whole like plot with her being in this group she's like good at like hiding in a sense but she eventually reveals the truth to her they eventually i think become like a couple but i think her name's ava too i there's 14 of them uh when you get told the truth about why this like they do what they do there's like a diary towards the end of the book that gets read and it actually is a pretty decent like plot the only reason why I'm only going to settle on a four star with this is it's somewhat of an ambiguous ending. Um, I mean, you kind of can guess what might happen, but I will say it also might set it up for like maybe a sequel, like Hide 2. 
I don't know. Uh, to me, it just kind of seemed like... I don't know. I, I don't want to say too much with it, but it was a very good book. Uh, there were some parts that were a little... Felt like they dragged a little bit, but that is to happen. It is a shorter book. It's not really super long. I think the audiobook was, for me, it only took me like three or four hours to follow along with it. Um, but it was a really solid story, and this is the first time I've read from this author. It's the first time I've read for any of these authors, actually. So, um, pretty solid stuff. I thought it was good. Just the ambiguous ending kind of whatever. Uh, but yeah, there you have Hyde by Kirsten White. All right, and the next book is probably the front runner for most effed up book I've read this year, um, and that is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. Um, I first of all, the cover looks sick. It looks odd a little bit. Um, when I finished it. I kind of, because Danielle's read this book, um, I kind of just stared at her and said, what the F did I just read? Um, and she pretty much said, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I said and what a lot of people say when they read this book. I'm kind of speechless with this book. Uh, this girl is selling an apple slicer that has reference to her grandmother. And the woman she's emailing ends up being this really nice lady to start with and is willing to like pay for like her housing for a little bit um, but then she writes up this contract and it's like you gotta do what I say you're my I forgot the terminology they use but basically like her slave in a sense but they never meet in person everything is done like via email or this like chat room Danielle gave it five stars I at this point have got like question marks drawn across the board right now because I really don't know how to rate this. Um, I would not go as far as five. I would maybe say between four, four and a half. It was... Come on, it like kept you on your feet. Uh, it did, but like it felt more like on the back of my heels. Like it felt like it kept pushing. Like as opposed to like dragging me in on my toes, it was like pushing me back like all right, slow down. What the hell's going on? And like, uh, it's not that long of a book. It took me like an hour to read this thing. And it's all done like in terms of like chats and like emails. That's what I liked about it. Well, yeah. It's so it was like, I, I don't know. This book was just so weird. This is honestly probably the weirdest book I've ever read. But I'm even curious what other people thought of it, too. Well, yeah. If you've read this book, try and keep it spoiler-free. But let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Because this book, to me, is probably the most effed up thing I've read. It's extreme. Well, yeah. Like, capital letters extreme. With, like, 20 exclamation points. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I didn't mind it. The characters were intriguing. There's only two of them. Um, but, like... I don't know. This book was just weird. So, again, if you've read this, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Uh, try and keep it spoiler-free. Uh, if you want to talk spoilers, DM me. Um, but, yeah, no. There you have things have gotten worse since we last spoke by Eric LaRocca. All right, guys. So, those are my three most recent reads. I'm hoping June is going to be a better month in terms of reading because May was not really the best. A lot with family things. I got sick towards the end. There is just a lot going on. So June, I'm hoping I'm going to get back into the norm. Um, I've got some King books that I think might jolt me back into where I need to be at. Um, again, we'll have these three books linked down below. We've also got the podcast down below. Um, and again, where are some recent reads you've had that you're excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.